first step when bleeding your brakes is you're going to want to go ahead and pop the hood because you're going to need access to the master cylinder. Let's go ahead and do that. Yours may not have this cover on it like mine. Um, this is, you have to order these in Japan. The G35 comes with uh, a brake cover, but in America they do not. So you take this cover off. As you look here, you can see my uh, clutch reservoir, the fluid is completely clear. The brake fluid has definitely changed color, so you're gonna wanna go ahead and clean this all off so you don't contaminate the area. Um, this is a little bit darker and it definitely needs flush, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do this with a one-man tool. All right, now that we have our brake bleeder vacuum pump kit, which you can get from Harbor Freight. I can't remember the price, I'll post it up for you. It's either 25 or 35 bucks. But this makes bleeding, bleeding your brakes a cinch and you can do it by yourself. So, the, of course we wanna start with the back right tire, but since the lighting's better over here, we're gonna go ahead and start with this one. I've already done the back right, but we're gonna do the back left so you guys can see exactly how you would do this. You do the exact same process for every single wheel. So. You're gonna need an eight millimeter wrench. Once the uh, rubber boot is removed from the bleeder valve, you're gonna go ahead and attach the brake bleeder vacuum pump. And you wanna make sure you take some brake fluid and fill this a little bit. So when you go ahead and crack open the valve, there's no air being released into the system. So what I like to do is before I start, let's go ahead and pump this up, build a little pressure in it. Cause you don't wanna let this fall below 10 or five when you uh, crack the valve. So I go ahead and I pump it up to about 20. And then once it's pumped up to 20, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna crack this valve, the bleeder valve. As we crack it, we're gonna make sure we keep pumping this at the same time. So let's turn it a little bit, here we go. And you just keep doing this until you fill this up. And this will take all the air out of the system for you. And again, by the time this gets all the way full, then it's time a good time to go and check the brake reservoir tank to make sure it's not getting low and refill it. So let's go ahead and fill this up. You want to take a little bit of some uh, paper towels and put underneath there because remember, brake fluid's corrosive. So <clears throat> try not to get any on your paint. Just go ahead and top it off. Just top, top, top it off. So once you see that there's no more air bubbles coming out of the bleeder valve and the fluid starts to turn this color, a clearer color, that means it's been completely bled and there's no air left in this side of the system. So this side of the caliper on the car is completely, been all the air has been bled out of it. So once this is done, go ahead and tighten the bleeder valve and move on to the next wheel. So put a little pressure on this one here on the front rotor. And then go ahead and uh, crack the bleeder valve. And there you can see the air bubbles coming up and then you keep using the vacuum pump to pull them up through. See how you never let the pressure get down? And you just keep pumping. And so now we're starting to get full 
on my uh, little tank here, see how dirty it is? So since we're starting to get full, we're gonna have to crank this down and go up there and fill up the brake reservoir with more fluid. So let's do that now. <clears throat> Just go ahead and top it off. Just top, top, top it off. Well, that'll conclude today's video on how to use a brake bleeder vacuum pump kit. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next video.